John, it's uh, back to league action on, on Saturday. Um, a, a great experience uh, last Saturday, getting to the, the Scottish Cup semi-finals and uh, 9,000 uh, fans going through to Hamden to, to, to support the team. Uh, obviously, a, a disappointing result, but uh, now you and the, the rest of the squad uh, have come back in, um, had time to, to move on for it, and now looking ahead to, to Saturday for the final league game. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, we have obviously got second place all tied up and have done for two or three weeks now. So, yeah, we knew this you know, game, the last game of the season, up to Peterhead, bit of journey. Uh, so we'll look to freshen things up. You know, we've more importantly, the game on Tuesday against whoever, whether it be Airdrie or Alloa, uh, that's very much in our mind. We'll be looking to freshen the team up, to change the team. We'll make a number of changes. We'll take some young players up who will get some game time. Uh, however, you know, we'll still be the team that we'll put out. will be a, a team that will be uh, more than capable of, of winning the game and we want to try and do that. We want to go in and to the playoffs in the back of a win. will be that uh, the playoffs now uh, are the most important thing. We've got to take positives from the experience of being playing in such a big stage. You know, that should stand us in good stead. You know, we played very well. We played some great football. And, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of like back to where we're, you know, close to our best. Uh, and that's good. And that's great. It's a great time. Uh, so, number of changes at the weekend. Big thank you again to the fans on Saturday. Uh, they stuck with us all the way through it, right to the end and beyond. So, you know, thanks very much. Uh, I know it's probably been a wee while since you've been at Hamden and it was a first for uh, many of us. Uh, and, you know, we acquitted ourselves very well. The penalty incident was a, a real you know sore one to take so early in the game even though the players did respond and we should have went level with them and I think it would have been a different game if it got level however you know uh, in both boxes we didn't do so well as everyone knows and uh, you know we paid the price but great experience players have been magnificent to get us that far never ever thought we would have been uh, you know in the beginning of the season or when we were trying to put the team together so it was a bonus uh, one that we wanted to try and make the most of, but you know, circumstances went against us when you, you kind of legislate for a penalty kick, given away for such a, a soft uh, you know, situation. Uh, I'll not be the first uh, or the last, you know, I think that you know, it's not sour grapes or anything like that. I just think that it's such a, a harsh punishment for the type of, if you want, the crime. You know, I don't think the punishment fits the crime. I think the punishment is so severe from, you know, putting a cross ball in from that position. It's not like there was a, a denying a goal scoring opportunity. Uh, we had many players in the box who would have headed it away. So anyway, you know, that's that, that's that's how it is. So yeah, Peter Head will travel up tomorrow and be, be ready for the game. And then uh, you know, not a lot of time in between, travelling back down the road and then Sunday morning. And then Monday preparing uh for, for whoever it may be. We, we know it's either or. And it'll be a, a good semi-final. Uh, regardless of who we go and play, we've had good games against Airdrie, we've had good games against Alloa. Uh, these games now overtake everything and it's all about you know getting through these games by hook or by crook, by any way, shape or form, to make sure that we give ourselves an opportunity to play in the final and, and, and get to the championship. And that's the same for all four clubs that will be involved. And before that, on uh, coming up this Saturday, I think it's it's easy for for those on the outside to to see this as a as a nothing game with you know nothing nothing to play for with Peterhead already relegated. We've already secured second. Um, but like you said, um, crucial to to get a win going into the playoffs and uh, also a chance for those who haven't played an awful lot of minutes this season to to maybe show um, that they've got what it takes to to be in contention for those games as well. Yeah. We go into every game wanting to win the game, you know. You're always set up to, to win the game. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Uh, in in recent weeks, you know, there's been players in and out, in and out. We've been trying to balance the the game time and not playing players too long. Uh, a little bit more difficult with with the defenders. We've not made too many changes in there. Uh, unfortunately, one week ago, uh, playing Rowe picked up a hamstring injury. And so that's why he was missing at the weekend and he'll be missing this weekend again. It's a grade one hamstring, uh, looking at a couple of weeks. So it's difficult to 
I know a couple of weeks would suggest that he would be back, but you just never know. Uh, so, uh, you know, there'll be changes there. We picked up a little injury, a little illness here and there. So there'll be, as I said earlier on, there's going to be, you know, a lot of changes for the weekend. But the team that will be going out will be uh, more than capable of winning. They will be looking to win. Uh, and it will build confidence, but at the same time, you know, if by whatever reason we didn't, it's, it's not going to make any difference to the, whoever we play uh, on the Tuesday night. That will become, uh, that will overtake anything and everything. Such a quick turnaround um, as well, like you said, from the Saturday to the, to the Tuesday. Um, does that impact on your preparation for, for that match in any way? Well, it's the same for both teams, so that's uh, you know that's all you can ask for. You know, no one's getting any advantage. It's going to be the same for Airdrie, the same for Aloha, whoever of these teams. They've got both games on Saturdays, games that uh, are meaningful. You know, very meaningful for them. It depends where they can can they actually determine where they're going to finish. You know, obviously, if Airdrie match Aloha's result, which is difficult to think like that, but obviously if they do, then Airdrie will finish third, and it will be Airdrie if uh, Airdrie, you know, draw or get beat and. You know, Aloha win, then obviously then we'll be playing Aloha. Uh, so can they actually, I mean, it's very difficult to second guess, you know, if they can actually plan or whatever. So, no, nah, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. The fact is that it's a level playing field and uh, we have an opportunity to to get some players game time and, and rest some players and keep them fresh for, for Tuesday and that's what we're going to do. And obviously it's uh, it's tight at the bottom of the, the championship as well. Um all coming down to the the last game of the season uh, for them as well to decide who goes into the the playoff games. Um, a couple of teams, Cove Rangers, I am um, Broth and, and Hamilton. Uh, are they teams that you've been you've been keeping an eye on just in case um, uh, you know the eventuality comes that you, you meet them in the playoffs? Absolutely, of course. We wouldn't be doing a job if we if we didn't. You know. So, so tomorrow night, uh, the team's travelling up to Peterhead. I will be going to uh, our Broth and Hamilton. And then I will travel after that. So, you know, probably getting up at midnight to Peterhead. Uh, Paul was going to go to the Cove game. So, over and above having been watching them in recent weeks, we'll both, you know, take in games that they're involved in tomorrow night and get a real update and uh, a close eye for, for ourselves. So, yeah, yeah, you know, for us to play one of these teams, we will need to have get through the, the first, you know, semi-final. And uh, that's what we're going to take care of first, but we'll be very much uh, doing all the preparation work that you would expect of a, of a club of this standard. And obviously, um, maybe a, a, a difficult... Um a difficult thing to you to, to kind of bring the players back down from uh, from last Saturday as well. Um, how are they feeling uh, ahead of going into the playoff games? Well, we're using the semi-final as a, as a great motivation that, you know, we want to be, we just missed out there. We've had a, a wee feel for it and you're, you're looking around at the moment and there's so many teams celebrating, you know, from uh, having had successful, whether it's winning a league or, you know, and even if you look down England, teams are getting promoted and all the rest of it, oh, you see that and, you know, we want to touch it up, you know, we want to touch the the, the, the celebration as it comes with, with getting, for us, it'll be getting promoted. And so there's extra motivation from the disappointment uh, of not getting to the Scottish Cup final. We've got to use that. that we matched a very, very good team uh, for huge, huge, you know, parts of that game. And we believe, you know, on our day, we can... Uh, we can get to the championship, so it's 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 all to play for. It's up to us if we can go and perform at the best of our ability. It will take a good team to be us. All right, Jordan. Um, thank you for your time and all the best uh, on Saturday. Thank you.